Alright, hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Um, so before we start off like the main part of this video, I wanted to clear off some stuff on my desk because I got this new thing. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you what it is in a second, but basically you've got to clear off my desk and make some room for it. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go do that. I'm not using my camera. That's gonna sit right there. Um, it'll look better. I'm gonna get another lens soon, hopefully soon, um, and that'll look nice to have the. It'll be like, all right, do camera. It'll be lens, lens, big camera with a lens. So yeah, um, that's that's just it. Uh, all of this stuff is gonna get filled up. I'm gonna go through all of my drawers. Or like, yeah, so sort of sort of things. Um, I'm gonna go through them, and we are going to, or I'm going to, um, take out all the little things and put them in here. So then we'll have nice compartments for all of my little tiny things that get kind of lost in the big, you know, tub things. So um, let's get into the video. All right, so. Uh, in today's video, uh, this is a new series replacing Tech Thursday because I didn't like how Tech Thursday was only on Thursdays because in the summer, if I want to make a video, it could be on any day of the week and Tech th I've got a lot of Tech Thursday ideas and so I was like, hey, we're just going to make it a new series it's just going to be called Tech, Ti Tech Tips or Tech Talk. We could do Tech Talk. I don't know. What do you like better? Tech Tips or Tech Talk? Comment down below. Um, but for now, it's going to be tech tips because, yeah, it's just what I came up with first. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, lenses and mainly prime lenses versus zoom lenses. And to sh give you a little example, this lens that I've got right here, this is a prime lens. This is a 50 millimeter lens, and it's only 50 millimeters, so it doesn't zoom. Uh, it only you can only focus it. That's it. Um, the lens that I'm using right now, that is what is called a zoom. It's 18 to 55 millimeters, so you can zoom it in and out, and um, it's really good. Now, for my opinion, I will prefer to have zooms more than primes, mainly because with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens, I can get 50 millimeters. But I can also get 18 millimeters, and I can get 24 millimeters, and I can get 35 millimeters, and I can get all of that um, in one lens. Now you might be asking, why did you buy a 50 millimeter lens then? Um, mainly because there's there's one main difference between primes and zooms. Um, the 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 zoom lens that I have is a very very um, low quality lens. It's just a kit lens, um, so it's nothing special. Uh, which is why I told you earlier I'm trying to get a new lens. It's same thing, uh, 17 to 50 millimeters I think, but it's just a little bit better. Um, so getting a 50 millimeter lens, that one I use for pictures a lot. And the nice thing about that one is you can get really nice depth of fields. Now you may be thinking again, you're getting a really nice depth of field with this lens, but it is zoomed in, and so if I, it's if it's super wide, you don't get as good of a depth of field. Um, but that lens is a good zoom lens, and it was pretty cheap too. So it didn't like I didn't have to spend a ton of money on it. So it 
doesn't really, I don't really care that, you know, maybe I didn't need the lens, but I, I think it was a good purchase. It's also very good in low light, which this one isn't as good um, in low light, so that's another plus side of that lens. But another, th another thing, like I was talking about, you can get wide angle shots with this zoom lens, but you can also get shots like this that are close-ups. That's a huge thing um, if you're on a budget, because then you don't have to buy multiple lenses. You can only get one lens, and you can have one lens, and that can be your lens for a while. And if you are planning on buying a lens, um, say you say you have the kit lens, and you have for Canon, I think it's an 18 to 55 millimeter. Don't know what it is for other cameras, but if you do want to get a new lens, I would suggest, it's the one that I'm looking at and wanting to get when I get the money, it's the Sigma 17-50mm f1.8, I think it's f2.8, um, but it's better build quality, uh, the focusing ring which I know is pretty bad on most lenses, uh, it's a little bit better. Um, and it's a solid lens, so then you still get the range, and you only have to buy one lens. You can get so much instead of having to carry around, you know, four lenses because you want to get, you know, a wide angle shot. So you got to bring your 18 millimeter lens, or I don't know, your 24 millimeter lens. So, or maybe you want to get a little bit closer, but not too much closer. So you want to get a 35 millimeter lens. Now you've got to carry around multiple lenses. And it, you know, it adds to the weight of your camera bag, and you don't want to be lugging around all these lenses. Where, if you just have a zoom that's pretty good, like the one I'm going to get and the one that I suggest you get, um, you won't have to worry about that. Um, definitely um, would recommend if you're going to get a lens, buy a zoom lens. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.